watching the latest iteration of The Talented Mr. Ripley on Netflix, this time with Hot Priest from Fleabag instead of Matt Damon. Anyway, in episode 3, a perfume shop was featured, so you know I sat to attention. Tom Ripley and Dickie Greenleaf were spending the day together and went to pick up Marge's favorite perfume. If you don't know the plot or the characters, just go watch. Any of the versions are really good. They go into this shop, and based on the shape of some of these bottles, I had an idea of what brand it was, but then, after some free screaming, after a very pivotal crime that I won't spoil for you, you can see the bottle right here is from Santa Maria Novella, and it's called Aqua de Colonia di Ugo Stefani. And I've talked about this brand before, most notably in my video on Catherine de Medici. There are a few perfume brands. <laughs> that embellish their history and say they've been around for centuries or every famous historical person ever has worn their fragrances. Here's one that's actually true. Santa Maria Novella can trace its roots back to 1221 when monks used the gardens at their monastery to make rose water to help combat the Black Death. Then in the 1500s, they created the fragrance Aqua della Regina that you can still get to this day as a wedding gift for Catherine de Medici before she left for France. But the perfume shop as we know it started in 1612 and over the centuries has expanded to all sorts of personal care products. Back to Ripley, considering it's a well-known Florentine perfumery, I thought that was a great choice, but I wondered if this fragrance is what was mentioned in the book or the 1999 movie. So I found some stills from the 1999 version, and in that one, they still use the Santa Maria Novella, but they didn't show the bottle, just the brand's crest. You can see it right there. And here he is giving it to Marge. Now, in the original book from the 1950s, Marge asks Dickie to buy her favorite perfume, Stradivari. Stradivari was from the Prince Machiavelli line, of which you're bound to recognize the little crown bottles if you go to estate sales or anything like that. I always find a million of these little things. But Machiavelli was a French fragrance house, and since Ripley is so tied to a sun-soaked Italian coast, I think it was a great choice that they switched up the perfume house to feature an Italian brand. Beyond Santa Maria Novella, there's two other smaller Italian brands that I really like. First off, Profumo di Firenze. I love Matelda. And then a brand I carry in my shop is also called Profumi di Firenze. Chiara 41 is my favorite summer scent. It's peachy and sun-kissed. Highly recommend. Also look at this packaging. Gorge. From my collection, of course, Artemisia, inspired by badass painter Artemisia Gentileschi. It smells like sun and candied lemons. If you haven't watched Ripley yet, get on that and find the rest of my perfume histories at the playlist below.